Move over, Leafs. There's a new franchise in town. The Toronto Defiant are an esports team. They play the video game Overwatch in a professional league. And starting next year, they'll have a legendary home court. Roy Thompson Hall. Greg Ross explains. It's a venue best known for this. But coming soon, Roy Thompson Hall will host this. I thought that was a moment. Esports team Toronto Defiant just finished its inaugural season. The hard hold for the Toronto Defiant. Playing all games in Los Angeles. But starting next season, teams will travel from city to city, including Toronto. I mean, do you think 2,600 people are going to come and sit here at Roy Thompson Hall to watch these guys play live? Yeah, I have no, we have no doubt about that. And the ownership group has good reason to be confident. The Defiant already have a huge following that have been attending viewing parties throughout the team's first season. Toronto has never played a home game here, but they already have their supporters own club. fan group. I mean, that's Toronto, though, right? We are very quick to have our supporters club. They're called Toronto Alpha Flight, and they compare themselves to some of the clubs that support Toronto FC. I like to think that we're a slightly toned down version of the end section with fewer streamers. Um, but realistically, it's, uh, it's loud, it's raucous. Esports teams are also competing with traditional sports teams for a younger fan base. For you guys, this is a big deal. Yes. Oh my goodness, yeah. I've I've always wanted to meet like someone that plays games for like a living. Yeah. These guys are your heroes. They're your heroes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's too hot. For players like Liam Campbell, who is from Toronto, the thought of having adoring fans is still pretty new. I, I you know, it's it's something that. Uh, I never really felt like I deserved for a long time. I've spent all of this time just in my room playing video games, you know, kind of secluded. Not a lot of people know me. And to uh, think that, like, I can get recognized in the streets is just, it's not even a thought in my head, you know. From on high. Fans who want to see Campbell play live can expect to pay the same as they would to see other Toronto sports stars like Mitch Marner and Kyle Lowry. Your ticket prices will be on the same level as other professional sports franchises in this city. Yeah, that's right. This is a premium product. The Overwatch season starts in February. Toronto will host homestands in April and in August. Greg Ross, CBC News, Toronto.